extra Alexa so they put it in my house. Oh. And then so he saw it so because it has his big Oh, our own Alexa. Alexa, you better listen to my Vita. Ah. <laughs> what what is the uh, and she says, sorry I can't listen. <laughs> 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 creepy, creepy, creepy. <laughs> oh. And she doesn't. <laughs> That's really funny. So do you have a in your room? Yeah, in my room I've got it all set up. Uh, Jay, he was really, really generous and kind. He, he just, uh, he just watch somebody do he, he is. He's just, he's just a very capable person with gadgets. I am not. I hate, you know, I, I cannot follow the instructions very well, especially I'm yeah. not patient I enough. I get so impatient. That's what it is. Yeah. So, so. Listen to me. What, what's the matter with us blaming the, uh, the machines? <laughs> of course we can blame the machines. They're <laughs> designed for people like us. Just to move on, look over the readings again. We've got the warmest seats in the house. When are you going to pay your heating bill? When are you going to pay your heating bill? <laughs> Is it know. true you didn't heat? Didn't pay your heating bill? <laughs> 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 so which of you clowns didn't pay your heating bill? Which of you two didn't pay your heating bill? Is this working? No, there's nothing. Tantruming. Yeah. Just no. Change the battery. That's the. You change the battery? Yeah. No. But it was all bad. Just within now a day, gone. So it's not really. One of those goes to and all the rest start to answer it. Okay.
This crowning glory. Come here, Mario. We pay you good money for this. <laughs> I need it to unloose from the cloth. Thank you. We're going on the road with this show. Mario and I are going to go on the road with this show. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Behold, the days are coming, says the Lord, when I will raise you up a righteous shoot to David. As king, he shall reign and govern wisely. He shall do what is just and right in the land. In his days, Judah shall be saved, Israel shall dwell in security. This is the name they give him, the Lord our justice. Therefore, the days will come, says the Lord, when they shall no longer say, as the Lord lives, who brought the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt, but rather, as the Lord lives, who brought the descendants of the house of Israel up from the land of the north and from all the lands to which I banished them, they shall again live in their own land. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. O God, with your judgment endow the king, and with your justice the king's son. He shall govern your people with justice and your afflicted ones with judgment. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness, and fullness of, of peace forever. forever. For he shall rescue the poor when he cries out, and the afflicted when he has no one to help him. He shall have pity for the lowly and the poor. The lives of the poor he shall save. Justice, Justice shall, shall flourish, flourish in his, his time and, and fullness of peace forever. forever. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who alone does wondrous deeds, and blessed forever be his glorious name. May the whole earth be filled with his glory. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever.
Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. The Lord be with you. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. This is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. When his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found with child through the Holy Spirit. Joseph, her husband, since he was a righteous man, yet unwilling to expose her to shame, decided to divorce her quietly. Such was his intention when, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary, your wife, into your home, for it is through the Holy Spirit that this child has been conceived in her. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus. He will bear, she will bear him, you will name him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet. Behold, the virgin shall be with child and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel which means God is with us. When Joseph awoke, he did as the angel of the Lord had commanded him. He took his wife into his home. He had no relations with her until she bore a son, and he named him Jesus, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise the infancy narratives are really quite distinct, quite different. They, they, they don't contradict, but they're written from one from a Far East viewpoint and another from a Far West viewpoint. They're, they're quite different. We've heard about the fact that uh, Matthew's gospel begins with the genealogy. And it, it, it gets right to the point. Seven generations, except it isn't seven generations. Uh, it's, uh, it's multiples of generations, and those generations are different. They are filled with people who are not very nice. And it's kind of like if the savior of the entire universe comes from a line of folks like this, we don't have much to worry about. There's, there's non-Jews, there's Jews, there's prostitutes, there are evil and, and nasty kings and queens, all sorts of bad people. And yet God raises up a savior in the midst of that. In the first reading we hear about the name that they will give to this child the Lord our justice, Yahweh Sidkenu, God the just one, the righteousness of God. What, what is he leading us into? What kind of righteousness? What is, what is justice in the Old Testament understanding of things? It's right, right relationship. It's that I can sit down and you can sit down, I can sit with you, and you can sit with me, and we can come to a generous and kindly approach to one another. It's not simply, here's what's owed to you, get out of my face. Justice is far richer than that. Therefore the days will come, says the Lord, and they shall no longer say as the Lord lives, who brought the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt, but rather as the Lord lives who brought the descendants of the house of Israel up from the land of the north. This tells us that these two th events, the, the, the calling forth from Egypt and the calling back from the dispersion, the diaspora, these were hundreds of years apart from one another. So this particular text was written much later, but it has an antique quality to it. 
but the antique quality doesn't get in the way of God who is our justice and asks us to be just ones too. So what, what in your life needs to change so that you'll be Sidkenu, Yahweh, our, our justice? What has to reach out and change? This is what the Lord is, is calling us to at the infant of Nazareth, the little just one born in Bethlehem. God who is with us completely. God has bought into our lives. Have we bought into his? So this morning's 8 a.m. Mass is for one ten, for the repose of his soul. Oh, that's yesterday, today. Oh, we're, we're fri Friday, yes, excuse me. <laughs> Mary Grace Gumavai in Thanksgiving, and for Patricia Makas, Makas Pak this evening at 6, for her, for Thanksgiving, for her life, and that the Lord would bless them with many blessings. We pray to the Lord. Lord we pray for all those who are dealing with the COVID virus, especially Brother Daniel Thomas, an elderly Dominican who is dying at this time. We pray to the Lord. Lord we pray for those who love us and those who don't that we might be equally just to them. We pray to the Lord. Lord For the intentions of our hearts, especially the intention of Pope Francis and our Archbishop Jose, all who lead us in faith, we pray to the Lord. Lord and for Father Roberto's quick recovery, we pray to the Lord. O oh God, creator and redeemer of human f nature, who will that your word should t take flesh in an ever virgin womb, look with favor with, on our of prayers that your only begotten son, being, having taken to himself our humanity, may be pleased to grant us a share in his divinity, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Pray, my brothers and my sisters, that our sacrifice will be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice from our hands. In the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May the sacrifice to be offered to you, O Lord, 
make us acceptable to your name, that we may merit for all eternity to be the companions of Christ, by whose death our own mortality was healed. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ Jesus our Lord. For all the miracles and the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that we already rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that we may find us, he may find us watching in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, with tr thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and the powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim, Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Son in the highest blessings, in the name of the Lord. You are holy indeed, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and you make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts so that they may become for us the body and the blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, Jesus himself took bread, and he gave you, gave you thanks and praise. He said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing. He gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church in recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you have willed to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son may be filled with the Holy Spirit and become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, the mother of God, Saint Joseph, her husband, the glorious martyrs, our Holy Father Dominic, our Sister Catherine of Siena, St. Lorenzo Ruiz, and all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, 
and the order of bishops and all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, to whom you bestow on the world all that is good. For it is through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O God, Almighty Father, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And let us pray with confidence as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. It's not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil and grant us peace in our days. In your mercy, keep us free from all our fears and our anxieties as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. Amen. Let's offer one another a sign of Christ's peace. On you stay, qui tollis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. On you stay, qui tollis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. On you stay, qui tollis peccata mundi. Dona nobis pace. Let's pray together the act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, My Jesus. I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word.
Amen. May we receive your mercy in the midst of your temple, O Lord, and show fitting honor in the coming solemnities of our redemption. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Just a couple of things today. At 4 p.m. today here in the school courtyard, we'll have the Simbangabi Mass, and so all of you are very welcome to it. And we will have exposition until 3 o'clock. At 3 o'clock, we'll have benediction, and s then after that, set up for Simbanga B. The, the uh, exposition of the Blessed Sacrament starts this morning in a little bit. Thank you all. The Lord be with you. Amen.
May the peace and the blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit descend upon us all and remain with us forever. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. God.